make when you were younger? Uh, did you make your own? Anybody make their own? No? Okay, I'm from South America, so you have nothing to do there. You, you don't have a whole lot of money. So you would take bamboo sticks and garbage bags, and we would make our own kite. And we had like these huge rolls of string. And when it's a good day, you get let it go quite high, and then you get the whole roll, you just let it go. And this thing is honestly, I kid you not, like it's like a fingernail, like you can cover it up with your fingernail. That's how high up we let it go. And it would just stay there the whole day because the wind up there is much better than down here, right? I think it's pretty unsafe, to be honest. If it rips, it goes on the power lines or whatever, but we didn't know better and nobody told us to stop, so. Um, oh, I recorded that. Anyways. Um, and so a disclaimer here. I, I didn't use the software to make my kites, these ones. So sometimes you're going you're gonna to be like, oh, Mr. Erickson, you're doing it that way, but I'm seeing, I can see you doing it a different way, and it's not going to match up perfectly. It's not your fault, it's my fault. So next year... Whoever, if I teach this again, I'm going to have to fix this, right? So that's why I'm going to ask you, like, A, determine this angle here, W, X, Y, this one, W, X, Y is this one up here. We're going to omit that. I don't want you to use it, right? Not drawn to scale. Hello, page 33. Uh, not drawn to scale, so you can go minus two, Mr. Dirksen. You always like to give me minus two. I'll give you minus two, Mr. Dirksen. How you like that, right? So you do that. Yeah, Mr. Dirksen made a mistake. Right? Anyways, let's keep going. I always want you to remember that kites are really two isosceles triangle, like this bottom one and the top. This could be sideways too, right? But there's two isosceles triangle triangles connecting. So let's do the basic ones here. If I asked you what's the value of Wx, this, you should know this is two centimeters, right? Wx is just the stretch between the two letters, that's two centimeters, okay? We also know this, right? If this is 101, and right, you just saw me construct this thing, what do we know about this one? It's also 101. So we're going to put down 101. So without even answering anything else, I just figured that out, right? I'll put 33 here. Okay, let's keep going. It'll get a bit more complicated. Now, calculate the length of wy, so that's the short diagonal, and xz, which is the long diagonal. I'm going to use two different colors here. I don't know. I like it. I like it. Uh, it's standing out a bit more. So I'm going to find that one, and I'm going to find xz, which is this stretch here. Thirty-three. How would I do that? Remember triangles, trig. That's why I do trig before geometry. So you look up and look down, right? So I'm gonna use. I'm gonna bring this fifty-eight with me. Watch, right? This is fifty-eight here. This is three, and this is three. Okay, yeah? I'm bringing that all up. From the kite upstairs here and yes mr Dirksen, what if i technically i should be able to use the top and figure this length yes but i i checked it and these numbers if you use the top one that doesn't match because of that's my fault right because the two should have been this number should have been different for it to work so don't worry about it. I'll never, I'll make sure on the test it all works out, okay? But uh, in this case, let's just use what we're given. 
So this is an SAS, right? Side, angle, side here. I'm going to call this lowercase z. Right? So we have everything we need to use cosine law there. So it's, a, it's perfect to review that, right? Do you remember how to use the cosine law? That is the question. Z squared is equal to mm -hmm. 2 times 3. Yeah. Yes. Cosine of 58. That's right. Okay, so we use that one angle that we're given. You can't use the 101 here because it's on the side is the whole thing, right? It doesn't make sense here. So that's the short diagonal, right? We're finding the shorter one according to the diagram. So if we if you type that in, you get 8.46, 8.46, so forth. And so we figure that out. And that's two, we can round to two decimals because that's what they're asking us for, right? They're not asking for something beyond it. So at that point, we just round to two decimals. And there it is. Figured that out. And you'll know why I'm asking to solve these because it's going to help us find the area of, the, of this kite. Then there's this one. <clears throat> The longer one here you got to go up again to the original um, I guess this 101 is given right so why not use that one the 101 this is 2 this is 3 okay s a s this is lowercase w right go ahead and find that Calculate W, see if you get what I, okay, so here we go. Same, it's same as this, it's just a different triangle, right? So W squared is 2 squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times 2 times 3 times cosine of 101. And if you're doing this in steps, cosine of 101 is a negative value. This negative meets that negative, turning this whole expression positive. So, but if you have a good calculator and just type it in all in one shot, you have nothing to worry about. Okay, so 15.289 and it keeps going. So W is 3.91 centimeters if you take the root. Okay. This is the short diagonal. Diagonal, long diagonal. Okay, so they're, they're gonna come in handy. Of these two, the shorter one is bisected, right? Only the shorter one, the long one is not. Okay. Hmm. Can I just bring something to your attention? If you bring this in in such a way that the orange one is also bisected, then you actually have a rhombus, okay? So if you bring this tail in so that all four sides are the same, then you have a rhombus, then it's no longer a kite, right? So you've got to watch out. Let's go to the back side here. Did I use green for the short diagonal? Yeah, green and orange. I'm going to use that again. <clears throat> so I'm going to use, I'm going to have both diagonals appear here. We know that the 
meet at a 90, we know that the shorter one will be bisected. And so it's asking for the area. Okay? You can look at it that this way. There's four right triangles. There's two isosceles. There's two scalene in this case. Right? So it's up to you. But what I'm going to do is this. I know this length here. So I'm going to copy that one down. I'm going to slice this and just focus on half of the kite. That's why I left a lot of room there. This is still the same. And uh, if you recall from the previous page, this one measured two centimeters, right? This one measured three centimeters. This one I found, and that was 3.91, right? What's going on there, Mr. Dirksen? I'm, I'm kind of trying to see what are you trying to do here? What would be the height of this triangle here? The base and the height always meet at a 90. The base and the height of a triangle meet at a 90. So let's do this for a bit, okay? If this is our base, then our height will be this is the height, right? This is the base. You're like, but it's sideways, Mr. I know. Just make sure that technically we just, it doesn't matter which position. This triangle could be upside down like this. Just remember that the base and the height, they meet at a 90. So as long as you multiply those two before dividing it by two, you're fine. So what's all, what's with all this? Well, the shorter one to get this here. I know that the shorter one went from here to here, and that was 2.91. That's based on the previous page. And I know this one cuts in half. If I were to use the long diagonal as my base, I can figure this out, right? So that just needs to be divided in half. And that gives me, watch what's going to happen here. Careful, because we're finding the area. 2.91, just take that side, divide it by 2, and I'm going to use all decimals here. 1.455 centimeters. I will give you a shortcut after this, but I just need you to understand. So the area of this triangle that we just cut out would be base... times the height divided by 2. Okay. Let's make sure you write this down. Base times height divided by 2. That gives you 2.8445 and so forth. This would be centimeters squared, right? So that's the area of just half of the kite. So we have to multiply this by 2. So the area of the kite right, is 2 times that, which is 5.69 centimeters squared. There it is. That's the area of your kite. And uh, lucky for you, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a shortcut after this. It's much quicker. You can just use a formula and just figure it out just like that. Make sure you write this down, okay? So I'll wait a little bit.
write this down. I just want you to understand that technically it could be done this way. Ready for the shortcut? You need to ensure this makes it onto your study sheet. The area of the kite can also be found by just going long diagonal times the short diagonal divided by two. Isn't that sweet? So I'm going to use orange to underline a long diagonal times the short diagonal, which we had in green here, divided by 2. Let's try that. 3.91 times 2.91, right, divided by 2, you get the exact same answer as over here. So from now on, just use this one. Just find both diagonals, multiply them, divide by 2, you're there. In fact, can I ask you to, at the top of this page, just write down finding the area of a kite? Nice and big, like we're going to make sure it stands out. Okay. Um, calculating the area of a kite. Okay. I would expect you to not spend a whole lot of time, right? Like what I did here, I would just expect you to know, okay, yeah, I just need to find both diagonals. And quite often, by the time I ask you for the area, you've already calculated them, right? Quite, it's probably what's gonna happen. Let's keep going. I will ask you to try, it's not gonna be copy paste, it's not. You're gonna have to kind of read and see how it goes, right? So let's go to page 35 and 36. It's, uh, it's basically this, this one big question, okay? Can you go with me to 35? I'll just explain this to you. I'm not going to lie, sometimes you're going to be a bit stuck or not sure, but the only way to know whether or not you're getting it is by trying it, correct? You won't know for sure if you're not trying. So watch this. Quadrilateral below, you should recognize it as a kite. There's a diagonal. AC is 10 meters. Do you see that? Very important. So it's basically they're giving you that stretch and we know something about that diagonal right it gets cut in half so what does that mean if this is 10 then you can confidently go in there and say well it's easy to do it's just five and five right and you have four right triangles in there so uh, a is just tell me what side Y and Z is. That should be very easy. No math there. Just state it. And then calculate the values of X and P. So they want just this stretch here as well as this stretch here. You're going to have to pro use Pythagorean theorem for that. Okay. And then try to do everything else as well. And I'll give you about five to seven minutes. So no AC, right? So this is kind of like, give it a try, right? Give it a try and then we'll correct it together. Big deal if you make a mistake. Right now, that's not a problem, right? All right, some time to work, okay? Some more time to work. Yay. Okay, Y and Z, this should be easy peasy, right? So this is seven here. 
z is uh, 18. Okay, no problem there. X and P, right? We're using the diagonals to cut triangles. So I'm going to take this one out. This is 7. This is 5. This is X. Remember, this is the hypotenuse. This side cannot be longer than the hypotenuse. Okay? So X is going to be square root of hypotenuse squared minus leg squared. That gives you root of 24, which gives you 4.90 if you round that, okay, that's what they actually wanted. So that is 4.90 there. The longer one, this is five, this is 18, this is P, it's one of the legs as well. And you have 90s all around, okay? If lines are perpendicular, that means that there's 90 degree angles all around that intersection. So P, is root of 18 squared minus 5 squared. That is root of 299, which is 17.29 meters. So for now, at least write it down. And I will post this one as well on the, under the scanned pages that I'm about to release, but there it is. So we use Pythagorean theorem here. Could you have used sine law? Yes, but I think it would have been a lot more work to get it done. Um, angle ABC, let's see, uh, I'm going to use orange, go find it, put your pencil on it, a lot of you were finding it just fine, so this is ABC up here, and ADC, angle ADC is this one down here, okay, so I'm going to use green already for that one, those are not congruent, they're not the same, okay? So we don't know that. So watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to use the top here. I know that this is 7, 7, and this is 10, right? Across here is 10. So I can use, I'm going to call that angle B, right? So cosine of B, 7 squared plus 7 squared minus 10 squared. So this is B up here. 2 times 7 times 7, that would be minus 2 over 98, which turns to minus 0 0.0203. And we know it's obtuse, right? So we, if we're trying to classify this thing, we're done, right? We know it's obtuse. But we need to figure out the angle here. So cosine of that is I saw this number when I was walking around so way to go guys 9117 you rock all right the the bottom one same thing I'm just gonna now focus like this so that's 18 18 and 10 uh, and you're finding D basically angle D down there so cosine of D is 18 squared plus 18 squared minus 10 squared and just enjoy the ride if you have this already this is uh, 548 over 648 so cos uh, sorry angle D is cosine inverse of 0 0.845 dot 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 we know this is an acute angle because it's positive. So that's 3226. There we go. We have both angles, right? We have the bottom one and we have the top one. Okay. And now I want you to find angles A and C. This should be easy. How so? They are congruent. Okay, they are too excited here they are congruent okay just make sure you make a note they're the same so angle a angle a is exactly the same as angle c right 
And this is how I'm going to find it. I know that all four angles in a four-sided shape add up to 360. I'm going to subtract the 9117 that I just found. I'm going to subtract, follow this please, 3226. Okay, I'm going to subtract both of these from 360. And what's left over, I'm going to divide that by 2. I'm going to equally spread it amongst the two that are left. And so angle A, which is equal to angle C, is uh, 236.57 divided by 2, which is 118.29. Okay? So if you're paying attention to what we're doing and to the properties and all of that, right, this is key here. I just need to make sure I use a highlighter that I haven't used yet. But this, right, that is uh, all, all four-sided shapes add up to 360 in, on, for the interior angles. Okay, So basically, if you want to draw another kite, right, each of these angles here on the, on the ends, on the sides, measure 118.29, okay? So that's important. So it's almost like an isosceles triangle, kind of, if you know one angle, you know them all. If it's, an if it's this shape, uh, because they're the same, we just divide it by two. Let's do the area. And today I'll leave you alone, uh, but you're gonna have to practice. I will post two things, because everybody's at a different level when it comes to these. I will post a video that goes through pages 37 to 30 or to 48. I think it's like a bunch of pages. And I will also just post the PDF. So if you just want to check the answer, you don't need a video. You, you can pick what you're going to do. Okay. So let's go to page 36 here. Calculate the area of a kite. Hey, I'm going to look on my study sheet and it says long times short divided by two something like that diagonal long diagonal short diagonal divided by two i know that this is 10 right 10 uh, what are we meters meters i told you this already earlier so you have that the long one This one, how do we find that? We're going to go x plus p, right? I asked you to solve for x, and I asked you to solve for p. So that's how you get your long diagonal. Right? This is the long diagonal. So you basically have everything, right? So we're going to go, I'm cheating a little bit because I have my key here, but technically you would want to check on the, Previous page, 490 plus 1729, that is 2219 meters, important to us, okay? And so now I can find the area of the kite, which is the short diagonal times the longer diagonal divided by 2. I saw some of you had that answer already. Usually when it's the answer is right, I, I just walk by and leave you alone because you're fine. Okay. So that is the area of this kite. And so this is work. Today we focus a little bit more on kites, but we're still working with trapezoids. We're still working with the other shapes, all right? So you write this down. Um, I'm gonna color code it here. I could sugar code it, but I don't have any sugar. 
Ah, ha, ha. There you go. Um, and so here I'm going to give you, like tomorrow I'm going to focus a little bit. I'm going to give you an AC on this kind of stuff. Trapezoids, kites, so you, we're going to do that. But then I'm going to start talking polygons. Okay. So here it is. Um, homework for today. I would expect you to get this done today. It shouldn't be a problem. Page 37 to 38. That should be done today. Okay. Then pages 42 to 48 do it at home or your own time okay it's a bit of crunch time because uh, the two short weeks I mentioned that already pages 42 to 48 just so you know you're gonna classify some triangles you're gonna have trapezoids, you're gonna have kites, you're gonna have everything, okay? And just remember that. Key is posted. Well, sorry, I still have to click publish, right? And there's also a video, video correction will come up in a bit. So I go all the way from pages 37 all the way to 48 so you just have to fast forward if you don't want to see everything else right so i but i don't do from scratch i kind of have it solved and i just kind of walk you through it and i highlight as i'm going through and uh, I, I explain how i got the answers right because sometimes that is a bit of a mystery right so uh that's it for today so just be ready for tomorrow. If you if you work through this and you have a question, ask, okay? Thank you.